most teams spend weeks just getting a project off the ground. But with Copilot's project manager agent in Planner, you can go from idea to action in minutes. And these are 10 things that you need to know to automate project management from creating a plan to assigning tasks and generating status reports. Before we dive in, there are three things that you need to know. First one is that Project Manager Agent brings AI into Planner. Therefore, you need to have a Microsoft 365 Copilot add-on license in addition to your Microsoft subscription. You will also need to have access to Microsoft Loop within your organization. And to access the Project Manager Agent, you need to access Microsoft Planner from within the Teams app. At the time of recording, this is not available on the web version. And as a final note, I am using the Planner Project Plan 3 Planner Premium license, and I will be demonstrating from the Teams desktop app. All right, let's nerd out. Now, if you haven't already, I also recommend right-clicking on the Planner app within Teams and then pinning it to your left navigation, and this will just make it easier to access later on. So number one is how we can create our plan with the Project Manager Agent. Let's go up to new plan. And then here we will see plan with project manager. So if we select that, then that is going to be creating a plan from scratch. But we also have these templates, which are a great way to get started. So in this tutorial, we are going to start from scratch. We are going to go with this plan with project manager at the top. So here we can give a name. Now I do recommend a specific naming convention. And you'll see here that I have puppy training level one course plan. So at Amy's Animal Shop, we are creating an online course. And this plan is going to be for managing that project. But if we go into our teams here, you'll see that I have a team for online dog training. And then I have a channel specifically for the puppy training level one. Now, I would recommend naming your plan, either the name of the team or the name of a channel. And then you can go dash and then you can add the plan name. And I'll show you why this is helpful in a little bit when we actually get to that point. So now that we've got our name down, we can add this to our pin plans. That's just going to make it easily accessible on the left navigation. And then we can add it to a team. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to select that online dog training. Now, the reason why we want to add this to a team because it makes for one effective collaboration with your team members because everybody that is within that Microsoft team is automatically going to gain access to this plan. But number two, it's extra important because we are using AI and the project manager agent. So the content, like any documents or files that are stored within that team, this agent is going to have access to that content and that content will act as grounding agent, which is really going to streamline the creation process. So now that we've defined those parameters, let's go and create. So here we are in the plan and it does take a couple of minutes to get set up, but once your plan is ready, then you will be redirected to a page that looks similar to this. So we have our plan and then we are redirected to that project manager tab we are prompted to share some information about our goal and relevant content. So within this area, I'm going to prompt the project manager agent to generate a project plan and tasks for launching an online puppy training level one course covering course creation, marketing strategy, and supporting content like blogs or guides. So you can simply add that and then go generate tasks. But one thing that I do recommend doing here is adding supporting content. So if we click this little plus icon, then you'll see here that I have a puppy level one lesson plan. So there's a couple of things to note here on adding content. One is that you want to ensure that the content that you're adding is accessible to everybody on the team because you are now going to be sharing that content with the team. But number two is that when we add relevant content to this project manager agent, then we are directing it to specific content that we want it 
to work with. Whereas if we didn't attach content, then we're basically sending it on a bit of a wild goose chase. This is just going to curate the output a little bit better. So now that we have all of that in there, let's go and generate tasks. So here is our plan and we can see that we have some tasks that have been created. Then at the bottom here, this is where the project manager agent is going to redirect you to some tasks that you should start to work on soon. So it's helping you kind of prioritize what content you should be working on first. And we'll take a look back at this as we work through this plan. If you are not happy with the output here, then what you can do is you can play around with your input. So for example, we can remove that prompt and just make it a little bit simpler. And then now we can go and regenerate our tasks. And it's just saying that creating new task with project manager deletes all of the existing tasks. Do you want to continue? Yes, we will confirm. And then now we are going to regenerate our output. So here is our plan that has been regenerated. And you'll see that we have a different set of tasks as well as priority items. Now, if you want to adjust some of these tasks, for example, this one here, we've already got the online course platform set up. So we just want to upload the content to the training course. So I'm just going to modify that one and we'll see that it has been updated. And if there's anything that you want to delete here that is completely irrelevant, then we can go to this little garbage can on the far right hand side. So now that these tasks are in here, we can now go assign to project manager. So you can do this individually at the individual level. If we hover over a task, then we can click this little icon and we'll see here some options. So Mike and I are both part of this team. So that's why we're prompting or showing up here, but we can also assign this to the project manager agent. I personally like to assign all of these to the project manager. So let's click on that and we'll see here that the status has now populated. So this one is in progress and the rest are queued. And that is just going to take a little bit of time to set up. While that's generating, let's pop into the board view and we'll see that we are now grouping by project manager. And we have buckets for tasks that are assigned to the project manager. Tasks that need our additional input will show up here. And then tasks that have been completed and are ready for us to review are going to be moved to this category. So give that a little bit of time to work in the back end and we'll come back in just a moment. Okay, so we can see that some of our items are ready for review and we have received some activity feed notifications in Teams. And recently, Microsoft also rolled out a new feature where you will also receive an email notification letting you know that your items are ready for review. So we can see that Copilot has also added a percentage of complete and allocated these tasks to a goal for the project. Now, if we open up one of these task cards, then we can see the work that Copilot has already done for us, helping us kickstart that project. So we can see that a loop page has been added with a ton of content here. And what I would recommend doing, as with anything with AI, is just reviewing all of this content for accuracy. Now, if you want to provide feedback on Copilot to regenerate some of this content, then what we can do is we can just add comments directly into the loop page. So we can just say, make this shorter. You could say, adjust the length. You could ask it to add additional modules or just using regular language and providing inputs for Copilot to work on that information. You could even, you know, go down to a specific area and say, make this longer and then we can click regenerate. Once you have reviewed a task and you are happy with the output, what I recommend doing is adding a label. We can select pink and we'll just rename this and we'll just call it reviewed. So now any items that you have reviewed for accuracy and are ready to allocate to a team member will have that label and you can then use those filters within the other areas such as the people tab to bulk assign tasks your team members. So I think that this task is actually complete right now. So we'll just mark that as complete. And now we have started to work through this project.
We can also add new tasks here and then assign those to project manager agent. We'll go add a task. In this case, we need to research some promotion initiatives. And I'm just going to add that task. Then now we can drag and drop it over to the project manager and it will start to queue that and work through that content. Let's now pop into this project manager tab and we can see some progress and recent activity. So we'll see that we have the recent activity of our plan and it's even showing that completed task, showing the project or the task that it is working on and in progress. Then we have that new research promotion initiatives that is queued for processing. At the bottom here, it is now updated some suggestions on what tasks we should prioritize next. So this page is a nice snapshot of the project manager agent and its activity or progress within your plan. You can actually see that that promotion initiatives task is actually requiring our input. I'm just going to click on that and demonstrate what this looks like. We'll see that loop page has been added and Copilot is now asking us some questions and providing a space where we can provide our answers. And you know what? These are a lot of really good questions and I actually haven't really even thought about some of these answers, which leads us to number seven, which is how we can brainstorm with Copilot using the whiteboard. So I'll go over to the ellipses here and we'll select whiteboard. Now, for those of you that are new to whiteboard, we can use a digital whiteboard similar to a whiteboard that you might have in an office to brainstorm and visualize ideas. Now, the great thing is that we can use Copilot in the whiteboard. So on the bottom right here, we have Copilot and I'm going to go to suggest. And here we can just add a prompt to say brainstorm social media promotion initiatives for our online puppy training course. We click generate and Copilot is now going to brainstorm some content for us. Here we have some suggestions that we can go on down and now we can just click insert. Now, these are all some really great ideas, but they're a little bit difficult to visualize. Nothing is really popping out to me. So I'm going to select all of these items. We'll go back to Copilot again, and this time we will go to categorize and then go categorize selected notes. So Copilot is now going to review those and we can see that this is so much easier to visualize all of these different really great ideas. Let's go and keep it. But now this time, let's select all of those notes again. And this time, let's create some tasks from those items. So we'll see at the top, notes successfully converted to tasks. If we go into that grid view, then we are going to see all of those new tasks have been added at the bottom. We can see that our plan is coming together. However, all of these buckets are just in bucket one. So we should actually create some more buckets. Now, when I look at buckets, I like to go into this board view. Then I like to go group by and buckets. So now I'm actually going to pop into this Copilot tab at the top here. And I'm going to ask Copilot to add some buckets to this plan. So we'll just press enter. Copilot is creating those buckets for us. Now we can see that those have been added and now we can easily drag and drop our tasks into the appropriate buckets, quickly allocate them and categorize our plan. We can also chat with Copilot to help us brainstorm goals or even understand or gain insights on our project. Now that our plan is on its way, we need to send a status report to our team. Fortunately, project manager agent can automate this process for us. Let's go up to reports and then we can go, let's get started. So here we can define a reporting period. Then we also can optionally specify what area we want this report to cover. I'm just going to generate this so we can see that a loop page has once again been created and Copilot has done a lot of this work for us. Now, as I mentioned earlier, just review everything here for accuracy. And if you do want to add additional content, then you can add things directly within this loop page here. And when things are ready to go, then we can scroll up to the top here and go share as newsletter. 
This is going to turn that loop page into a SharePoint page. And we can see that all that content has been added. I'm going to keep it. And then now here, we can just see all of that good stuff. So if you are not familiar with using SharePoint, then I have done another video on how you can actually use Copilot in SharePoint to share news posts. We can go through, review this content. You can update it as you need. And then when you are finished, we can post and send. Number 10 is that you might be wondering where all of these loop pages are being stored. And if we head over to the ellipses here, we can navigate to loop. And here we are in that loop workspace. We can see that puppy training workspace here under recents. And then we have all of that content. So we've got our whiteboard, we've got that Word document that we include at the beginning. We've got a link to that planner plan. And then we have a copy or a link to all of those loop pages that are associated with our plan. Now, the reason why I recommend naming your plan the way that I did is because when you look at all of your loop workspaces, you want to ensure that it is going to be identifiable. And so here we can see that this is going to be for that puppy training level one course. And you can just rename and style that loop workspace as you see fit. For more tips on using Microsoft Planner Premium, you can check out this tutorial.